皇太极 consort Chen was called the Hai Lan Zhu. She was the daughter of an important Mongolian noble. Hai Lan Zhu was the niece of Huang Taiji's empress, and was the big sister of Huang Taiji's consort Zhuang. In 1634, Hai Lan Zhu married Huang Taiji when she was 26 years old. Because in ancient time, girls usually married in 14 or 15. So we reasonably guess she had another marriage, different with Huang Taiji's other political marriage. Hai Lan Zhu treated Huang Taiji as a husband, not an emperor. So soon, Huang Taiji deeply loved her. In 1636, Huang Taiji founded Qing. He adopted the Inner Court rules of Ming. And promoted one empress and four consorts. He chose a very special title, Chen Fei, Consort Chen, for his beloved woman. In ancient time, character Chen represented the emperor, so Consort Chen means the means this rank of consort. Was nearly to the empress. It's like the imperial noble consort. Besides, Huang Taiji named Hai Lan Zhu's residential palace Guan Ju Gong. Guan Ju was from the poetry Guan Guan Ju Jiu, Zai He Zhi Zhou, Yao Tiao Shu Nu, Jun Zi Hao Qiu. This poetry used by a man to show his love to a woman. In 1637, Hai Lan Zhu gave birth a son. This little prince was Huang Taiji's eighth son, but Huang Taiji felt like it's first time to be a father. He held grand banquets to celebrate this little boy's birth. Meanwhile, he published the first dynasty order of Qing Dynasty. Which was the signal that Huang Taiji treated this son as the crown prince? Unfortunately, several months later, this little prince passed away, too young to have a name. Huang Taiji and Hai Lan Zhu felt desperate. Although Huang Taiji tried his best to comfort Hai Lan Zhu, but she couldn't recover. The deeply sadness made her become weaker and weaker. In September 1641, Huang Taiji, leading the eight banners, and the Mongolian army fought with Ming army in Jinzhou, which was an important military frontier. When the battle became white hot, Huang Taiji got the message. That Hai Lan Zhu was hopelessly sick. After made proper arrangement, in early morning of next day, Huang Taiji rode the fattest horse to back to Shenyang. Five days later, he was near to Shenyang and decided to take a little break. When he just fell asleep, he got the message that Hai Lan Zhu was dying. Upon getting this message, Huang Taiji immediately rode on the horse and prayed he could come back on time. In early morning of next day, Huang Taiji arrived at Shenyang. Unfortunately, he got the message that Hai Lan Zhu already passed away. After lost Hai Lan Zhu, Huang Taiji lost his soul. Two years later, Huang Taiji suddenly passed away. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.